It's always advisable to replace your fuel filter whenever replacing your fuel pump. There are multiple different designs of fuel filters out there. Be sure and use the appropriate tool in replacing these. Always be sure and bleed the pressure off the system. This can be done in multiple ways. So we'll remove the relay. It can start the vehicle and allow the pressure to bleed off. We'll do this by opening the relief valve on the pressure gauge. When removing a fuel filter with shouldered nut, be sure and use a wrench to hold back up on the fuel filter while removing the line. We will unthread the inlet and outlet fittings. It is advisable to use a line wrench. Keep in mind the fuel filter will have fuel in it that will drain out as you're removing the filter. Always be sure and try to capture this in an approved container. First you will note there are safety retainers on each line. Insert our release tool into the end of the fuel line. We can turn the fuel line slightly and work it off. Now we will remove the safety retainer on the inlet line. And remove the fitting. Now we can remove the fuel filter from its retaining bracket. Be sure and dispose of this fuel filter properly. Always before reinstalling your filter, inspect your fuel line fittings to make sure they're not damaged. Place the new filter in the bracket and reattach your inlet and outlet line. On the fuel filter fittings, there is a what we call a horseshoe type clip. Some applications will require the use of this to install our fuel line. Notice that the fuel filter fitting is marked with an N. This will go towards the fuel tank. Start the fuel filter into the bracket from the front of the vehicle, spreading the bracket and sliding the filter in. Now we can reinstall our fuel inlet line. Push this on until it hear it click. Also, you can slightly pull back on it to make sure that it's fully seated. Now we'll reinstall our safety retainer. Now we can reinstall the outlet line. Push it on until you hear a snap. We'll reinstall our safety retainer. There, the new fuel filter is installed. Anytime you have the fuel system open, it's a good idea to cycle the key two to three times before cranking the vehicle over to purge the air out of the system. 